Watching guys, a while ago I made a video review of the Codelix fanless mini PC N42-D with Windows 10 Pro on it. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how we can install Linux onto this little mini PC and you can use this and run OwnCloud or Plex server, Kodi, whatever you want to do on here. It's a really decent bit of kit and it's a really awesome way of uh, running uh, Linux or Windows on a mini PC. Now uh, I've been running Windows 10 Pro on here but I do think uh, Ubuntu will run lovely on this box and I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to do that. So first off we're going to go over to the computer and plug in our USB flash drive and uh, we only need four gigs or up uh, on a USB flash drive and then we need pieces of software. We're going to need uh, our version of Linux we chose which in this case it's Ubuntu and also we're going to need Rufus. So let's head over to uh, the Linux website here. You can see Ubuntu desktop 18.04 LTS. That's the one we want. We want to download this version. Now you can see the specs here that it's asking you to use and uh, the mini PC should be fine for them to upper specs. As you know, uh, Linux is very easy to run on small uh, form factor computers and stuff like that. We're also going to need to download Rufus. Now, this is the uh, tool which you can create bootable USB drives, and it's really easy to do. You can use whatever software you like to create your bootable drives, but I'm going to be using Rufus, and uh, we're going to be uh, downloading the portable version for this one. So let's open up Rufus here. I've already downloaded my version of Linux. So what we're going to do here is just say no to this. This is just the update. I'm not going to bother updating it. But this is what we're going to get presented with. Once the box opens up, you can see here I've already got my USB flash drive uh, plugged in. I've got a 32 gigabyte one. Four gigabytes and above is enough. Now I need to locate my ISO image. So I'm just going to navigate to the place where I downloaded it and left it. And now we've got that selected and uh, we can now move on to the next bit, which is your partition scheme. I'm going to leave that as MBR, BIOS or UEFI. Uh, FAT32 is fine. And just click on stop. And then we're going to get this box popping up. I'm going to say yes here. And uh, once we uh, read all that, you can just say yes. And then move on to the next bit, which is write the ISO image mode recommended. I'm going to say OK for that. Now it's going to give you a warning saying all the data on that USB flash drive will be wiped. Now's the time to back out if you don't want to lose that data. It will wipe it. It will then start to copy all the ISO files over to our USB flash drive. I've speeded this process up and create our bootable USB flash drive with our Ubuntu on it. Now we can click close. We have finished here and we can now put this into our computer and mini computer. These are our files here. As you can see, they're all copied across to the USB flash drive. So I'm just going to unplug this and plug it into the mini PC. So it's that simple. Uh, you can build this on the mini PC via Windows on the mini PC if you wish. But I've got it plugged in into the mini PC now, as you can see here. And what I need to do here is boot up this device. And uh, once I start booting up this device, I will need to keep tapping the F7 key and this will allow us to get to the boot options of the mini PC. It's very simple. So just keep tapping that key as you power on the Codelix or whatever mini PC you're using and you will now see the uh, select the boot device. I'm now going to select my USB flash drive, which is the SanDisk partition one. Now we can try Ubuntu, but I'm just going to go straight in and install Ubuntu here and just click on the install Ubuntu. You'll see a load of code coming up on the screen and then we'll get to this location here and now we can just select our language depending on where you are in the world you just select what language you want and your keyboard layout I'm going to do UK you can obviously choose another one and now you can connect to your Wi-Fi network or if you've got Ethernet plugged in you're fine but Wi-Fi works fine because I'm pretty much close to the router. So I'm just going to put in the Wi-Fi code here and click on connect. That's now connected. I can now click continue. And now we get some options here to have a normal installation or minimal 
installation depending on what you're trying to do if you're just having some sort of a plex server or something like that and you just want to do a minimal you can do or maybe you just want to do a full install which is a normal install uh, and you want to use the operating system as it is then you can want to do that one up the top so i'm going to do a normal one for this video but bare essentials you would just do minimal if that's what you want leave the tick in download updates when installing ubuntu click on continue and move on to the next stage now we can uh, install ubuntu alongside our windows boot manager if we want to and have this as a dual boot but i'm going to erase the whole disk and install ubuntu on its own because i don't want uh, windows on there and also uh, just because of space so i've got the erase disk and install ubuntu radio button uh, selected and click install now now we can press continue this is the time it's going to wipe that drive so if you want to back out now is the time if you don't then just click continue and it will erase all the data on that drive and install uh, ubuntu for you now we can choose our location i'm in london so i'm going to choose london and then click continue now we need to just put in our details we can put in our username here and our name and it will automatically fill in as you can see there and give yourself a login password it's always recommended to have a password so just put in a password that you can remember uh, something like that there we go and then we can click on continue and now it will start to copy all the files across to our little mini pc now this will take a fair bit of time but i've speeded this process up so you don't get bored so i've speeded this process up quite a bit uh, but it is quite quick it's not that long now it's going to ask us to restart our system so then just click on the restart now button and when this boots back up we should have ubuntu installed on our lovely little mini pc so let's just reboot this system you should see the code licks and then ubuntu there we go and now we can log in uh, to our account so we need to log in by using the password that we created and click on sign in now linux there's nothing to be frightened of with linux uh, it's a pretty easy operating system to navigate around and use if you get any problems you can always uh, go on their forums and stuff like that there's plenty of distros out there you can try out you may want to try it out on a virtual machine just to see whether you like it or not or try before you use you can always do that as well so let's just go through here and click next and get these all out of the way there we go and you can see the ubuntu uh, usb is still plugged in i'll remove that in a second and now we've got a fully working ubuntu operating system on our little mini pc and this little mini pc performs really well with uh, a linux operating system on it and i'm pretty impressed now the good thing about this obviously it's very lightweight it's a lot more lightweight than uh, windows 10 and uh, it should perform a lot more better uh, than windows 10 on this little mini pc and you can see you've got all your tools and everything you need software you can download more if you want to and if you are trying to run a very minimalist uh, sort of installation you can go for the minimum install and it will take a lot of this stuff out a lot of software that you're not going to use if you're using it as an own cloud server or something like that and i'll make that video uh, next for you to show you how to build your own own cloud server and things like that but basically this is your uh, install you can see the drives here uh, this is the drive we've got not using a lot of space we've got plenty of uh, drive space available for us still on this little mini pc and also this mini pc is upgradable uh, to more storage if you need to and uh, i will leave the link for this uh, mini pc in the video description if you are interested in it as you can see here there is your space up the top there which is available still so pretty decent now let's uh, move on uh, to doing the next step which will be upgrading our uh, ubuntu and i'm just going to go through some simple commands here in the terminal just to uh, upgrade and update uh, the linux build just to make sure everything is okay now ubuntu should take care of a lot of updates itself it will get a pop-up box coming up saying you can update 
uh, but we can run commands also to do that. I'll just quickly show you these ones. So let's open up a terminal here and type in a bunch of commands. You'll see them highlighted in white at the bottom and you could just type these in and uh, run these. And uh, basically this will upgrade and upgrade and update um, Ubuntu. You can also update it the other way as well, but we'll just do it this way. And I'll speed this process up so you don't have to wait. And uh, once this is all updated and ready, uh, you can then use it. And also we can then put in whatever we like, like Plex, own cloud, or whatever we want to do. So I'm just going to be typing these out here. It's only one more to go after this one. And uh, we should be pretty much good to go from there. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to install own cloud on Ubuntu on that little mini PC. So you can share files around the house with all your friends and family. There we go. And you can see a pop up box popping up at the back of the terminal there saying software update. And if you run that, it will update all this stuff as well. So you don't have to do that. You can see here, please restart the computer to begin the update uh, process and update with your software. So let's quickly reboot the system. And this will then update our Ubuntu. We should be pretty much good to go from here. You can make some other tweaks uh, to the operating system. I'm not going to do that in this video, but you can go ahead and do all that sort of good stuff if you want to. And it should just boot up. There we go. Just log in. And we should be good to go from here. Let me go just put a password in here and click sign in. And we should be back at the desktop. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this one up. That's pretty much it for this video. That's how you can install Linux on a little mini PC. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Mm -hmm.